JMS Flower Farms has been helping grape growers protect their vines from insects and fungal diseases with their exclusive product, JMS Stylet Oil, since 1992. Visit www.styletoil.com today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from the annual Tri-County Walnut Day in Visalia. One of the featured speakers today was uh, UC Farm Advisor Emily Sims who addressed a peculiar situation uh, growers are facing right now with frosted scale. Historically it's, it hasn't been a big issue in the orchard but this year has been like no other in the last 30 years and it's been an increasing problem and here's Emily to address the situation. There's actually a, a handful and probably more than I'm not aware of orchards in my area I haven't talked to Liz if she's seeing the same thing here that have really really high frosted scale populations you know higher than one of our emeritus farm advisors has seen in 30 years and these are existing in orchards where we've been treating from walnut scale. So there's a very curious Thing that's going on are our walnut scale treatments perhaps not entirely effective for frosted scale? Is there some other interaction that's going on? Another scale pest that we less commonly in the past have encountered in walnut orchards is frosted scale. This is a very different looking scale. It's what we call a soft scale. It's a more kind of helmet shaped, dark colored little critter that sticks to the branches. Um, in the past, year or so we've been seeing increased frosted scale populations in a lot of orchards and even in orchards where we've been routinely treating for walnut scale so we're not exactly sure what's going on with the interactions there or you know why our our walnut scale treatments aren't necessarily being affected for frosted scale um, there's a lot of overlap in their biology so the crawlers for frosted and walnut tend to emerge at the same times uh, during the dormant period, frosted scale though has this waxy coating for a few weeks and potentially any delayed dormant treatments for walnut scale are not being effective for that reason. Uh, there's, you know, there's a number of other reasons too. Perhaps the frosted scale parasitoid is becoming increasingly impacted. Uh, we're just not entirely sure what's going on with frosted scale, but it's definitely interesting to note that we've seen higher populations of frosted scale in some areas than we've seen in, in 30 years or so, even though we're more actively treating for scale. So if there are any orchards with very high frosted scale, we at the university and some of our, our industry partners would be interested in taking a look at what's going on with that and how we can manage those better. Thank you, Emily. Learn more about what's going on in your industry by reading Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, the official publication of the walnut industry. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.